Hey, what's going on everyone? Scott and Gage here. We're in uh, Spectacle Island right now. I'm not doing a settlement tour this video. I wanted to show off this little boxcar house that I've I've come up with. Uh, I really like it and I think it works really well in any settlement and any terrain, you know, even if it's on a hill or anything like that. Uh, so we'll start out the boxcar. And I like using the one that's up on stilts here. So place that one down. And I like using the uh, the end pieces that are uh, closed off at one end. Now you can use you know whatever size you want. I'm just using the smaller one for right now. So you got that down, and then this uh, we're going to use the scaffolding. We're going to start off with this smaller piece because it you don't need the big one right now and it snaps right to the doorway there like that. And then we'll grab one of these taller pieces here. I like this one with just the here and it'll snap right to the top of that one and then this will be our, our porch area. And then around the back side here we'll do the same thing. We'll go back with the smaller ones the ones that aren't quite so tall and that snaps there we'll snap another one right over here on this side come on you temperamental thing right there and then we'll go and switch to these rectangular pieces we'll snap two of those right there then instead of using the scaffolding floors I use just the regular wood floors and they do snap to the scaffolding gotta have a little bit of patience with this stuff I tell you so we'll do that and then we'll do the porch next the same wood floor there it snaps right to it now for the roof of the porch I like going into the warehouse section go to the roofs and come all the way over and I'm gonna use this piece right here I, I like it I think it's pretty cool we'll need that and we'll need a couple of concrete pillars so you just use the small pillars you lower it down as far as you can you get it close then you can use the select all switch and pick it up then raise it up as far as it'll go and then just select the pillar lower it back down add another pillar to the top of that and then highlight the bottom one hold the select all and now you can raise it up a little bit higher now this is the kind of tricky part here is placing this down on top of the scaffolding because you want to get it just about the right, you know. You want to get it close. If you get it too close, it goes up on top of the wood there. So about the time you get it just close enough, that's about where you want to be. And it looks like that roof piece is now suspended by the scaffolding. And then we can go back into the scaffolding. If I remember where it's at we'll just add a ramp and see it snaps right to it and I like these I love these scaffolding railings really comes in nice but before we do that we're gonna place a door now doing it this way with the regular shack floor and it's snapped directly to the box car uh, the door will be kind of inside, you know, it'll be facing the wrong way. So I just use the metal door, this one here, and you see there it snaps right to it, but it's facing the wrong way. But I really like the way that looks. I thought that looked really good. So we go back to the scaffolding. We'll add the railings. 
and there we have our little porch area now for this side we'll go back to the the wood we'll just place a wall on that side now the scaffolding here works really well for these walls here and you can see there it snaps right to it Just fill in the gaps here. Now for the roof, I'm going to use the upper shack floors. Here. Now you've got a good sized room here, plus what's inside your box car. And that metal door really doesn't look too bad. So then on the back side now, with that shack floor up there, you can go back to the scaffolding, go to the frames, and we're still on that rectangular smaller piece. And it snaps right to the one that's already on the, on the ground. So then we'll select the upper piece like that. And now you can use just the shack floor or the scaffolding floors if you want. That's what I did. We'll add a ramp here and go to framework. Snap that on. that down then we'll put the railings on <laughs> then you come up on top here and if you go back to wood and go to the stairs the small shack floors you'll see snaps right to it so then you can go back to the scaffolding and add your railings Then you can use this area up on top for, you know, you can put patio up here, you can put a guard post up here, you know, whatever you want. Gives you a nice little platform up on top that the settlers can easily get into. Then we'll put a door on the front of it. And there we go. Little box, little box car house. I really like that setup. I've used it in a couple settlements already. Uh, I'm going to use it more in different settlements. But I like it. I think it looks really good. If you got any questions about how I built this or uh anything else uh leave a comment i'm always happy to hear feedback or answer questions about anything and if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button that's much much appreciated so as always have a good one guys thanks for watching